Other news tonight, the search for a missing Sedgwick County teen continues after Department of Corrections officials say he broke the window out of the transport van while being, while being uh, brought from Olathe. KSN Samantha Boring reporting on possible changes now to security protocol. Samantha. Jeff, the director says they transport inmates every day, but he says Friday was the first time since 2008 an inmate escaped. He says the teen was handcuffed in shackles and had a belly chain, but still was able to get out of the moving van. The director could not share why the teen was in Olathe and being transported back here, but says many of the inmates are taken to other facilities for other services such as dental or psychological evaluations. And we'll look at you know, where the existing policies and procedures followed and what needs to be modified to help minimize this in the future. We always know that leaving the building is the least safe option that we have, so we want to um, try to be as safe as we can. Stonehouse says one of the things being looked at is how to protect car windows from being broken out in the future. Coming up at 6, I'll have details on a big change coming to Sedgwick County when it comes to housing juveniles in the Corrections Department. Here for you, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3.